My name is uh, Alan Darman again, and uh, I'm going to cover one more nutrient class here uh, for you. I, you know, I have another one after this, you know, the ads and ends of Willie's Baggy. But this this section of video is going to concern the uh, oils that I put in Willie's Baggy, and I've got different bottles here and different brands. Essentially, I've got six different oils or reflected here if you you know discount the doubles and what I did is uh, I knew that vitamins uh, you know there's a whole range of vitamins that, that are necessary for human health there's a whole range of minerals that are necessary for human health there's a whole range of amino acids that are necessary for human health so when I first developed the baggie back in 2004 you know, there were different oils that I'd taken and different preparations that I'd taken uh, over the years prior to putting it together that I'd had a little experience with. And I just essentially, you know, m my knowledge in oils isn't, isn't, you know, nearly as deep as my knowledge in, in regard to amino acids. But I just kind of spread it across the board so there'd be a little bit of this and a little bit of that in this bag. And I'm, I'm going back and forth here and showing you uh, the different bottles. And I'll talk a little bit about them in detail. And uh, it seems to work. Now, you know, I've got one capsule of each in here. And essentially there's one, two, three, four, five, you know, the doubles don't count, six different oils. That's six capsules of uh, oil. Sometimes I would put flax in as well, uh, or a flax borage combination instead of just straight borage as shown here. But essentially, I'm just putting a little of this and a little of that. Uh, nothing is in excess here, you know. And I'm trying to uh, treat a broad oil deficiency just as I'm trying to treat a broad mineral, vitamin, and amino acid deficiency uh, in, in Willie and myself. And I'll go one at a time here. We'll start with coconut oil. This particular bottle uh, of coconut oil I got from... Uh, I herb off the net. Most of the coconut oil and and I herb is a fairly new source for me. You know, most of the uh, baggies that I've made up for Willie since 2004, the, I just went to Syracuse uh, to Nature Time and would pay retail because I didn't have a credit card and it was just easier. And you know, they carry a different brand of uh, coconut oil, but they come in soft gels. I put one in a baggie. Uh, both me and Willie found that if we had two in a baggie, and, and, and we both had the same odd reaction to coconut oil, that we would get up in the middle of the night and be excessively warm. You know, we'd feel like a flush, to like, a, like, you know, our body, like we, you know, it was like a temporary fever. So, uh, you know, but coconut oil is, is uh, you know, coconut's considered a superfood. You know, it's got medium chain or short chain uh, fatty acids that are, you know, important to health. It's uh, got, you know, coconut is the source for caprylic acid, which is a common candida fighter. You know, coconut is thyroid helpful. You know, if you, it's gut helpful. It's, you know, I just felt that this was a wise addition, you know, that, you know, my son would benefit from a little coconut because I had benefited from a little coconut. So, I, again, I put one, one capsule in a bag. And this bottle, and, and coconut oil, does need to be uh, kept in the refrigerator. There might be a warning in here. You know, after opening, put in the refrigerator. There's 120 soft gels in here. But uh, Willie's got coconut oil in the refrigerator at home. This particular bottle is mine, and I keep it in the It's the only thing that, uh, you know, I, I feel the need for refrigeration. Okay. The next here is this is this is a, a broad based oil blend. Both of these, they both had a little omega three, a little omega six, and a little omega nine, in in in, in each of these. And it's just two different brands, essentially the same thing. You can go one way or the other way. Uh, omega nine olive oil, a lot of olive oil has a lot of omega nine in it. Omega three is really deficient in American diet. Omega six. We tend to have an excess uh, in the American diet, but I, 
didn't want to leave, uh, you know, omega-6 out of Willie's regime. I was trying to give him every nutrient known to man and let God sort it out. And uh, there isn't too much uh, omega-6 in here. And, you know, with the exception of borage oil, that's omega-6 oil. All the rest of these, are, you know, a lot of omega-3s and fish oil and evening primrose and, you know, and the others. So, But essentially I would put one capsule of... Uh, uh, either of these in, in Willie's baggie. And uh, there's a lot of sources, and that, of course, is the way to shop. Evening primrose oil. <clears throat> you might not be able to see this because of the labeling. Uh, and this is Evening Primrose Deluxe. And I'll just show you the label a little bit here. It's got, uh, you know, just so you can see the different things. I felt, you know, when I was supplementing, uh, you know, different supplements and trying to sort things out in the uh, late 90s, I remember at one point I took evening primrose oil and I said, this stuff is helpful to me. I, I could clearly feel a positive effect from this, uh, you know, versus taking, let's say, even, uh, you know, fish oil. I, you know, there was something in this that was helpful. So, you know, I put it in Willie's baggie. I take it myself in, in, in Willie's baggie because I, you know, I take the same thing or very similar to what he does. I, I think this, if, you know, if you're going to put oils together, this is a wise addition to uh, any kind of broad based oil regime. And, you know, if you can afford it, if you can't afford it, you know, you could reduce the oils and maybe just use some fish oil or some cod liver oil or some coconut oil. But you know, I mean, it, if if you've got the money to afford this stuff, this is you know, this is a wise addition to a uh, broad-based supplement regime.